Hey Wampus, in this tutorial I'm going to explain to you what our backdrop is and how we can use it. So the backdrop is pretty much the background color that's all around our scene. We can access it through the top bar in the third menu which is the backdrop menu. Here you will see a bunch of colors that you can simply click on that are already pre-created for you but if you want to have a more individual color, you click on the plus icon and it will open up the color palette. Here you can simply choose whatever color you want to. What's really annoying right now for me is that the floor grid is activated. So on the top right in the lights and environment panel, where you will also see the backdrop and can make quick changes to it, you see the floor grid option. By simply turning that off, we get a smooth ground here. And yeah, now the question is, how do we choose our backdrop wisely? Like what makes sense for our creation? And it's obviously up to you, but one thing that I can recommend you is to look for complementary colors. If you don't know what that means, it's pretty much the opposite color. Like it's at the opposite side of the color wheel than the color that your creation has. So in my case, with Mushi, um, we can either focus on the green tones or on the red hat. So if it would be the red hat, we would go for a greenish color and that would look quite nice compared to the hat. Or if we go for the ground, we would go for a more reddish kind of tone, maybe even magenta. And that would look really nice. You could of course also just go with a more neutral color, make that kind of light gray it's really up to you and those are just a few options that are available for you. It is also worth looking into the publish menu where you will see how your project is displayed as a thumbnail and how it will look on the discover page. I think that looks really nice and yeah that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoy finding the right color for your creation.